So there are so many awesome cities from coast to coast that give this show love every day, and so I wanted to celebrate them and have them celebrate each other. So we're coming to your hometowns, showcasing what really makes a city amazing, and that's the people and the culture. The first stop on this tour is the city they call Beantown. This is Good Neighborhood Boston. <laughs> Boston Harbor, where our friend Jackie Bruno from NBC10 Boston is standing by. What's up, Jackie? Oh, my God, hey, How's it going? So good to see you. I'm here at the. I, it's going great. I'm here at the Hyatt Regency, right on Boston Harbor. Check out this view behind me. It is really incredible. It is an overcast day here in Boston, but. Wow, it's still such a spectacular view here. Yeah, I just love that there's one lonely boat that might use those sticks standing up out of the water behind you. <laughs> like it's a solitaire boat. But I it know. was a good day. <laughs> it is absolutely Party gorgeous. Sailor. I love Boston. It's one of my favorite cities to tour. So I'm just going to give a shout out to Boston fans. They are so fun to play for. Bostonians, they are so excited about sports yes. or singing. It's awesome. So, <laughs> but yeah. there's something else happening in Boston that sounds delicious. Tell us about it. There's actually a chocolate festival going on right now in Cambridge. The Harvard Square Business Association puts this on every single year, and it's a great way to get all the best chocolatiers in the same area. I'm actually joined by Jen from Cabot's Candy. And Jen, this company has an incredible legacy here in Massachusetts. Yeah, we've been in Provincetown, Massachusetts since 1927, where we make our own saltwater taffy, fudge, brittle, and we have a store here in Harvard Square, uh, where our friends at the Harvard Square Business Association invite us every year. It's a blast. It's free and open to the public, and people line up around the block for samples. Oh my goodness, then I have to try a sample. Okay, so this is the, what is this? The this is chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry, Kelly. Oh my God, so good. And I'm talking with my mouth full, but we also sent candy, Cabot's Candy, sent it to you and your audience yeah. right now in LA. Mm -hmm. well, all right. Thank you, Rin. So Jackie, not only do you have something sweet, but I heard you also have someone sweet there as well. Introduce us. I certainly do. Check this out. Someone with better hair than me, Chase Winovich. Yes. He is the defensive end of the New England Patriots. <laughs> Oh Great my to God. Be here. We're Great so to be excited. Here. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for having me on, Kelly. Big fan. Absolutely. You know, unfortunately, I couldn't bring the uh, sunshine here, but, you know, hopefully I brought some with my hair. As well, I, lo as, uh, I love you know, your I'm just hair. To be here, honestly, I'm, this is great. I mean, you're and look I brought some right chocolate now, for everyone like, in the, uh, the how, audience. How so are you well. not a member of the cast of Game of Thrones? Is my question. <laughs> like, you are perfect. Your whole look. You could have been such a badass on that battlefield. I might just be. <laughs> so you guys do some amazing things around the Boston area. What do you do for fun? So I hit people for fun. I give. <laughs> no, well, I shouldn't say that. I give them hugs. I give them hugs. All right. We gotta, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a little safer with the word choice there. But uh, in my spare time, you know, we're definitely, uh, it's a big emphasis playing on the Patriots, getting involved in the community and giving back, uh, you know, countless visits to, to the hospital here, and, you know, the Children's Hospital in Boston. Uh, we even actually broke ground on a uh, playground. We, you know, we were assembling everything. So when I talk about boots on the ground, uh, you know, maybe not the Revolutionary War sense anymore, but uh, the Patriots are definitely about getting some yeah. boots on the ground and giving back to the community, and, and it's That's fun. That's really important. Yes. That's really important. Yeah. Thank you. Well, there are so many kind people in Boston. Check out this group of neighbors, y'all. So they've been named Bostonians of the Year after going out of their way for one special little girl on their cul-de-sac. Meet Glenda and Rafi and their three-year-old baby girl, Samantha, who is deaf. And this is Good Neighbor Boston, y'all. She's clapping. I learned this, so I want to do this. Hi. I know, I learned this. Hi. It is, okay, wait. It is, or my name is Kelly. Oh. And then, oh, I'll help oh. you, I'll help you, I'll help you, I'll help you. Are you sure that's what you said? <laughs> you want to put it down? I think you got Can that I help wrong. you? No, no. I think she just mooned me. So I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right. What did you really say? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, you're mooning us. It's fine. We'll, we'll block that out. Um, <laughs> sometimes I feel like doing that, too. Uh, um, so you moved um, to Newton a few weeks before you had Samantha, right? Yeah, so we moved to Newton. I was very pregnant, and we're meeting all these new people who are essentially strangers. 
and they were so warm and welcoming and they would bring cookies over and invite us to dinner. And then after I had Sam, about a week later, we found out she was deaf. So immediately we started learning sign language, but I had no idea how the community would come together to support us. Oh, yeah, that's, that's amazing. So explain what your good neighbors did. I think the story begins when we would take Sam out on stroller rides and we'd be signing with her and some of the neighbors noticed and four women at the end of our cul-de-sac signed up to take these adult education courses in sign language so they could learn. It was amazing. They, they signed up without even mentioning it to us. That's and we so were just, cool. it was just so heartwarming that they'd go out of their way to try to learn a new language for, for yeah. us and our family. She's done with that bow. Um, <laughs> so how did, that's like my daughter. <laughs> so how did that make you feel though as a community? I mean, cause it's not like you had known these people forever and they leaned in to experience your, your life and help. You just met these people. Right, I mean, it was so meaningful to us. And I did have some fears after having her. Would she feel isolated? Would she be able to connect with other people? And the fact that these neighbors came together and not only learned her language, but also learned about deaf history, deaf culture. It just made us feel so supported that she'd always have a, a sense of community and belonging. Mm. That's so exceptional. What a cool community. You just you walk around, you're good girl. Um, so we'll make sure she does not get hurt. Well, we will try. Um, so Glenda, what did you say when you found out? Like, what did, you, what did you say when you found out to all these people? Just how thankful, how thankful we, we were, we are that you know, they're, they're trying to learn a new language. Yeah. And, you know, for anyone who's ever tried to learn a language, I mean, that's... Oh, brother, I've been learning Spanish <laughs> for like two decades, and I ain't there yet, yeah. I'm I trying English. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough. Tough one. <laughs> so have you ever lived in such a close-knit community? Was y'all's community like this growing up? Um, mine was not, but, but I spent summers in Maine, actually. Yeah. Um, so, you know... The cousins, Maine lobster dudes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she loved it. It was like a ride. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You were saying it's I was not like, important. This is amazing. No, your cousins, what now? Um, no, I, I spent summers in Maine, and that was kind of, there was kind of a community in the harbor that we yeah. lived in, and there still is, and we, we, really love the people there. Yeah, did you grow up like that as well? Listen, cool? I don't know, but is there a child running around behind me or am I having a stroke? Am I having a full on stroke? Having, having a There's man, a child back there. She's a walking like, we will, not, <laughs> we will not let anything happen to her. I'm sure Rand, somebody will be stepping in, but we'll just let her have a good time. Yeah. This no, is her experience. In the community, I don't know, like my college dorm, I would say probably was. That's the closest thing I had to you. Yeah. yeah, we were pretty close. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right, so Glenda and Raffi, like, what does it mean to Samantha to grow up in this kind of environment? Because it's very helpful, right? I mean, it means, it means everything. She's so at home in the community. I mean, whenever she sees Ooh. people in the neighborhood, she signs friend. Yeah. And she knows all their sign names, which you know, basically a name that's that's given to someone really based on their personality. Mm. Oh, that's fun. And so she she knows all their names. What does she being mooned them. mean? Because that's mine. Uh, <laughs> she feels very comfortable with yeah. you. See, <laughs> you know what? I am. I what like to be needs. welcoming. So enjoy yourself. Forty members of the community, forty, are learning sign language so they can communicate with Samantha, who is deaf. We have dozens of them standing by along with our friend Jackie Bruno from NBC10 in Boston. Let's go to them right now. Hey, y'all. Hey, Kelly. Here they all are. <laughs> this is Lucia, Jill, Terry, and then their instructor, Reese. And these three ladies right here were one of well, three of the four that actually started this. So incredible. Oh, my gosh. So this was initially, so Lucia, this was initially your idea, correct? That's correct. It, it actually was kind of, it's a wonderful accident. Uh, you know, we saw Sam more and more in the neighborhood and she was signing a whole lot. And I kept saying, what is she saying? What is she saying? And then it just hit me, I need to learn sign language. So I signed up for a class and I told my close neighbors here, hey, I signed up for this sign language class and there's all in, sign me up, sign me up without asking the time or the place. <laughs> oh my and, gosh. And uh, so we started this adventure, yeah. So great. And so it was really fun. Well, what do you think this says about your neighborhood, y'all? What a killer group of humans you are to like represent like what we should all be doing as a society in general. Like, I mean, I guess it's not really a question, it's just a statement of how amazing you are. Yes. Hey. 
Oh, what do you need? She, she just looked at their picture and, oh. and oh. Si she signed to me, I, yes. I see friends. Yeah. That's just oh, yeah. signed. She wants to tell you who she her friends She said, I see friends? Yeah, you, you see friends. Yeah. Is, it, is this a friend? You see, and then friends. Oh, friend, yeah. friend. Friends? And you see the neighbors. Yeah. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Picture them. Oh, good job. You didn't get moon though, guys. It's not cool enough. Um, so, Jill, um, you all were named one of the 2019 Bostonians of the Year. How does that feel? That was pretty crazy. <laughs> it felt great. Um, we were really surprised, but I, you know, I never really. It didn't occur to me that this would be so newsworthy, but it really should be an ordinary thing. But I think that's what the great part uh, of this is, is what you're doing is showing us what is easily, and, or it's doable. You know, everybody can do that. It was a simple thing with Lucia. She saw something, she goes, I want to talk to her. And that's how this all started. I think you're right. It shouldn't be something that stands out. And yet you do, though. And you're hopefully setting off a domino effect that really, you know, brings communities together instead of fearing what you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, I, I think it's so rad what you guys are doing and you all are so deserving of this honor even if you don't want it you're going to take it anyway because you're beautiful humans so we wanted to do something special for you all um i think it's time to bring it out jackie okay well here it is check this out it's pretty big guys yes! go like this ah so you have this to remember this year and to say thank you for being an incredible community cool yeah well, before we go, before we go, do y'all all have something to tell Samantha? Uh, yes. Yes, we do. I'll take those. Let's make sure she's looking. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> right there? Can you look right there? <laughs> Maybe Rand can stand there. Oh, she sees herself now. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> I do That's I what I do. Let's walk right towards you. You want to see? Okay, there you go. Go for it, guys. Okay. We love you, Samantha. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. And I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.